for you. How is school going? Good. Good. How tall are you? Good. What's your favorite color? Good. Did you eat lunch today? Good. How old are you? Good. When we talk about goodness, we might think about doing good things or being good. But God's goodness isn't about that. It's a character trait. It's about who we are and how we act. Reading our memory verse today is Jackson Benosta. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Thanks, Jackson. Now let's get on to ancient Israel so we can hear today's awesome story about goodness. God's love grows in and out of us. Imagine how a tree grows. It has roots, and that's our friendship with God. The fruit on the tree is the good that grows in our lives because of God. The fruit we're talking about today is goodness. Goodness is a fruit of the Spirit. Let's listen to what Jesus has to tell us in our Bible story today and learn a little bit more about goodness. A man was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers ambushed him, took all he had, his backpack, his animals, his snacks, everything, took it all. They hurt him pretty bad, roughed him up, and just left him there, bleeding, bruised, alone. Later, a priest walked past the man, did nothing, intentionally avoided the man in need. Shortly after that, a temple assistant also passed by the man in need, not offering the hand that he needed.
After that, a Samaritan man, also on the road, saw the hurt man on the side of the, of the road and took pity on him and felt bad and acted on those feelings, putting him on his own donkey, bandaging him, took him to the inn, paid for his stay until he was well enough to go home all on his own. The Samaritan man did what the others wouldn't. Look after him, and when I come back, I will give you more money if you need it. <laughs> Jesus told this Bible story to make a point. The priests and the temple assistants, they loved to follow the rules. They liked to act like that on the outside, but on the inside, they didn't really mean any of the good things that they were doing. Goodness isn't just about acting good and following the rules. It's about the fullness of God's good character. Samaritans weren't known as the good people. Nobody expected that Jesus would make a Samaritan person the hero and good person of the story. We know this story now as the Good Samaritan. Now let's get back to modern day. Goodness doesn't come from us. Goodness is a fruit of the spirit. It doesn't come from always trying really hard to do the right thing or acting good. It all comes from God. The Samaritan in the story was able to help the injured man because he had a bag full of goodness. When the injured man really needed help, the rules that the priest and the temple assistant had weren't gonna do him any good. They weren't going to heal him. But the Samaritan came by with his bag full of goodness and was able to help the injured man and bandage him up. God has given you his goodness. That's right, you. Goodness is a fruit of the Spirit. None of us are good on our own, but God gifted us the fruit of the Spirit, goodness, so it can flow out of us to others. Will you join me in prayer today and bow your heads and close your eyes? Jesus, we thank you so much for giving us the gift of goodness. Thank you for showing us how it really works and that we don't need to follow all of these rules and just act good, but we need to look to you as a good example to be good and be good to others. We love you and we thank you in your name, amen. I have something fun planned for you today, so let's head on over to the Super Fun Science Lab. Come on. Welcome back to the Super Fun Science Lab. Today we learned about goodness. Sometimes we make good choices and sometimes we make bad choices. This is us in the middle and it's pointing to bad choices because without the Holy Spirit, we usually make bad choices. But when the Holy Spirit pours into us, we are able to make good choices. Bye from the Super Fun Science Lab. Bye.